So uh, to start off, what you need to do is turn the laser on. Uh, the laser is turned on with the key situated at the back or the front uh, of the table. Once you've turned it on, uh, everything powers up. There's a uh, little computer in there that needs to boot. So just give it a, a minute and uh, all the uh, software will, uh, will be running within 30, 40 seconds. Uh, if we move on uh, to the uh, slit lamp functions, you have, um, initially you have uh, those two wheels here that you can play with. Uh, we can't really see here. Okay. So these two wheels, the bottom one is a filter, as you can see. Uh, there's the green filter, the blue filter, and then no filter. The upper wheel is the slit height, and to play with the slit height, it's just uh, a different size of circle openings. Typically, we use the bigger one. There's a progressive opening, this one here. Once you've done that, uh, you have those grooves here. Um, that will control the slit width. And this is pretty much it for the, uh, no, wait, there's a second one here. If you happen to come uh, and the slit is at an angle, someone may have played with uh, this, this big wheel here. Uh, set it to zero and it should be straight. If the bulb ever runs out, there's a little opening here, just unscrew it with uh, a uh, penny or something and replace the ball. You can um, lock the rotation of the, the, um, the slit lamp with the little knobs here. Once the laser is powered on, you have a selection of either SLT or YAG. Um, we're going to start off with the YAG. So this is your main screen for treating uh, with the YAG laser. Um, there's, so there's certain uh, functions that you can um, modify directly on the screen and also with the knobs on the, uh, on the laser. Um, the main function that you're going to be changing is the, the power of those it's the knob right here, as you can mm -hmm. see, energy. Um, usually you won't necessarily um, play with the, uh, the uh, touchscreen here. Everything that you're going to want to, uh, like the aiming beam, uh, you can see it changes right here, but you preferably use the, the knob right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anterior posterior offset right here. So this is now set at plus 350. We typically don't use an offset of more than 250 and most commonly used is plus 100. If you put it at zero, there is a uh, safety posterior offset of 100 microns built in. So um, if you're doing your capsulotomies, um, pay attention to the offset right here and choose whichever one you're more, most comfortable with. Very good. If you're using the YAG laser, um, the main thing you have to um, watch out for uh, if, if the laser isn't working is the position of the slit lamp. If the slit lamp is directly in front of the laser, um, you will have a message here that indicates move illumination tower. This means that the illumination tower is in front of the laser. Once you've moved it, you can hear a little click where the limit is. You'll see that message disappear. Okay. Once you've moved it and the message di disappears, just hit the status button and you will be ready to fire. If you are doing iridotomies, you can always use the burst mode. The burst mode has up to three bursts. These are 
very, very rapid fired bursts. You can't really tell uh, the difference uh, between a single burst and a triple burst, but um, they have demonstrated that it's more efficient in terms of energy to use the triple burst than three single bursts or one uh, burst three times as powerful. When you're starting to treat, you'll see the, um, the shot count. Um, well, we, can see, we can look at that here. Let me, can you see with your phone if I yeah, take it down a little bit? All right, so of course you have two red dots. You can see the two dots. You're in focus when the two red dots come together. And, I'm sorry. Yep, perfect, there. Okay, when the two red dots come together, you're in focus. Same with the, the illumination tower. If you're in focus, it shouldn't move more, much. If you're not in focus, everything's kind of going yeah. everywhere. All right. Once you've done a few shots, you'll see on the Screen here, you'll have an energy, a, a, um, the sum of the energies you've shot into this patient. You have the shot count. And in order to reset those, just press on count. Everything goes back to zero. In the burst mode, here we have triple shots. The um, energy is added. So you have three, in this case, you would have three times uh, 1.8, um, so this is already calculated for you. Okay. If you want to switch from YAG to SLT, just press this button here, and then you're in SLT mode. There are no bursts in SLT mode, it's just a single shot. Um, usually you start at 0.7 and move your way up until you have champagne bubbles on one out of every two shots. Uh, for the rest of the laser, um, the magnification, you should be pretty familiar with that. Um, you have 6, 16, 28, 42. If you ever have the need to change the co-observation tube from one side to another, ask biomedical, but it is possible to put the co-op sufficient tube on the other side of the beam splitter. Okay. Okay. Other than that, if you wear mascara, you should probably <laughs> use the, uh, the little uh, shades here. And uh, I think this pretty much covers it all. Um, Thank you. You have... Uh, so just to recap, this is the light button that we finished already. So now. this is the aiming beam intensity. Yeah. As we said, we can also change it on here on the so screen. So this is the retroillumination. And this I know, the yes, you're right. I'm sorry. This, no th this is the retroillumination. So the... Um, yeah, the light. There you go. Perfect. And, and the aiming beam is right here. Yeah. And that does... Uh, could you do it? Uh, yes, of course. Thank so that, let's just turn this one off. Let's see better. Perfect. And that's with this button right there. Yep. Thank you very much. My pleasure.